Hi everyone, so I'm about to go to the Birmingham NEC BBC Good Food Winter Show and I'm really excited. Um, I'm just relieved that I've got here safely. I'm only half an hour away, but uh, it's just still that element of I hope I don't have an accident and I don't have anybody to hold my hand here. So uh, I'm going to go in and I hope I don't miss Lorraine Pascal's book signing because I've brought my old, very tatty um, cookbook which uh, I thought she'd just probably chuckle at if she'll um, sign it for me because all the pages are really stuck together and I don't want to throw it away. Oh, let's go in, I'm nervous. Must remember the car park, N10, note to myself. And I'm right in front of the Premier Inn. Tight squeeze. Christmas tree. So I'm here, I'm really excited. I've already had something for breakfast so I don't binge. So I'm gonna be trying to be good and I'll see you in a bit. Exciting. <laughs> So I've just bought my first purchase and it was actually the cheese mill grater and I regretted not getting it last year and it was two for fifteen pounds and it's a bigger and better model so I'm very pleased. Right, what else am I gonna buy? Found a really, really pongy stall. Kippers! Just tried some cure ham that was very nice. So it's now 10 past 11, I've got 20 minutes to go and meet my Slimming World friends in the subscribers lounge and uh, go for a coffee and then head straight to see Lorraine Pascal at 11.30 for the winter kitchen. Um, I think she's doing a demonstration on her new book, the one that I've actually got from the library. So uh, yeah, hopefully they'll let me uh, into this lounge and get a coffee. So I'm finally here to get my dose of Lorraine. But I was inspired by... Really nourishing soup, um, <coughs> really easy to make. Sometimes soup not that filling, but with this one, you've got the potato in it to make it lovely and filling. So it's a nice sort of winter warm, isn't it? Most of these are staples that you've got sitting in the back of the cupboard that you never use very much. And some turmeric. And turmeric is great. I have turmeric every single day, sprinkle it on something. It's a great anti inflammatory. Sarah's toddy one always says oh, if you've yeah. got a bruise, rub some turmeric on it. Tur I thought he was winding me up. I wouldn't go that far, but um, so we're just going to get those spices toasted. It's quite important to toast them first, because otherwise it can be quite grainy, you don't get all that wonderful flavour out. Then we have our little fruit tart, and our soothing sag alu soup. Fantastic. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Of course. Beautiful. I just want to take a picture of you all for my... Uh, Social media. <laughs> oh, smile. Say hi. If you're sitting beside, if you're sitting beside the person you should be sitting beside, now move. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just come and see me, and I'll, okay. I'll fuzz out the face. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine Pascal. Thank Bye. you very much. So it was really cool to see Lorraine make a soup, particularly because that's my all-time favourite type of dinner every day, well, lunch, and I've actually just been filmed to do a podcast for this brand here, which is a wheat-based crisp, Yushoi, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but to have to say, the sweet chilli and lemon are delicious. The other ones, I, was, I wasn't really as impressed, because I love chilli, I love the flavour of this one, and it was 96 calories, so five sins, that's not bad. Bit bizarre feeling my wobbly thighs wobble everywhere. Definitely like the idea of that just stood watching the telly, but it's £349 today or £700 online. So uh, something I'd have to think about. Very, very beautiful Lorraine Pascal. Woo! There you go. <laughs> you had the most amazing career as a model, haven't you? I mean, you yes, were all well, over yeah. the world travelling. Yes, I, I started off as, as a model and um, I did all sorts of different jobs around, around the world. I lived in Australia and France, yeah. And then you made the transition into the kitchen? Yeah, I mean it wasn't like one step, I did all sorts of different jobs the in the middle. The mechanic, hypnotherapy, the sorts, 
interior design until I found what I was really passionate about and that was mm -hmm. food. You've done quite a few series on TV and you've had loads of well, three books. This is your third book. Will be a more um, books. That's the fifth. That's the fifth book. Yes. Oh, goodness, you're a prolific writer. So, okay, so tell me a little bit about this one. This is Eating Well Made this Easy. This is Eating Well Made Easy. So um, I've been trying to do a healthy show, uh, show for a long time but the BBC didn't really want to do a healthy cooking show so I thought right I'm just going to do a book without a show and I really wanted to do because um, when you say healthy it's a bit scary and people don't really want to eat healthy even though you want to eat healthy you don't want to buy a book with healthy written all over it so I just wanted to do recipes that were everyday foods that we eat from your lasagnas to your, to your soups and everything but a little bit more healthy so brownies and all familiar foods but I'm just making them a bit more healthy oh so how do you make a brownie healthy then? well I've replaced the flour with oats and I've replaced the sugar with dates oh Yes. Oh, they sound all really squidgy still. So they're squidgy and warm mm. and yummy and gooey, like the ones in Baking Made Easy, if any of you have made the Oreo brownies. So they're very similar, but just a little bit healthy. I think being healthy is about making incremental changes to your diet. You don't have to go all out and, you, yeah. you know, it, it's very expensive to do that. So just small changes. And I think that keeps you on the straight and narrow as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's realistic. Because yeah. we've all done the diet where you cut out massive food groups and it's all going swimmingly for like the foot till Monday afternoon. <laughs> and then the wheels fall off. So I like to kind of keep it a bit more doable. You go to the book signing later. Yes. Do <laughs> you mind being on YouTube? No, it's fine. <laughs> I've just found an Amy. I don't know Amy, but so we both love Lorraine Pascal. So we're going to head and get our book, old book signed. Yeah. Stalking <laughs> all day. So I'm now in the queue to get my really old Lorraine Pascal cookbook signed. It's so tatty. And it's definitely falling to pieces. got the shakes literally and I must have looked so rambly and embarrassing and she's got the greatest smile so 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 glad I'm on a natural high it's really bizarre so if you're watching thank you so much for signing my really tatty book <laughs> oh, I just want it I want it oh hope you saw that I wish they stop doing the spiel. I just want to know the price. I just want one. I think I'm officially spent up, well, sort of. I didn't buy anything unnecessarily, but I did buy a few cakes and treats so I can drop some off to my fiance, who's not far away from here. So uh, that'll cheer up his um, lunchtime. And I'm going to go and grab my coat from the cloak room. Hi. Look who I've just bumped into, it's Foodie Laura. We're in the press room, I'm like I'm editing my vlog so we can go up straight away. I bumped into Vicky and we've never actually met before because we always speak like online but this is our first like meeting in person. <laughs> oh I'm cheap, I can just keep smiling I've got a jaw ache as we speak. But um, Laura does uh, a lot of gardening videos and rescue videos so we're definitely, definitely go and check out our channel. So the day is officially over but I will be coming back on Sunday to hopefully go for afternoon tea here with my fiance as well. And I've got my hands totally full with goodies, goodie bags, my book. So that's officially the end of the BBC Good Food Show for today. But it was so cool to meet Laura, foodie Laura, because uh, I've just been meaning to meet, meet her for ages. Because we've got so much in common. And definitely go and check out her channel. And uh, yeah, when I, I actually bumped into it in the press room uh, editing her video. So uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, probably chewing her ear off for ages so I'm sorry Laura but uh, I just thought it's just I was too excited and I bought these gorgeous um, large individual cakes £2.50 each um, they smell beautiful um, not very healthy probably but you've got to have a treat and I really wanted to buy one of these last time I was there 
and uh, the queues were just horrendous so I'm glad I got that. Then a naughty large apple crumble flapjack for my fiance who I'm just going to drop off to his workplace in a minute. Then I couldn't resist buying two jars of proper, proper peanut butter, proper nutty. Well they're actually made in Yorkshire and that was even more, um, I had to have it even more then and they're slightly salted. I'm gonna go lightly on this one because I can get addicted to peanut butter, but that was yummy. Hello, have you missed me? Cuddle. Oh, you are so excited.